a Windows 10 operating system from the LTSC channel contains several device lockdown features that help to harden the operating system. And one of these features is the unified write filter, a write protection filter that helps to protect the system from unauthorized write access. This makes sense, for example, if I would like the system to restart every time in the same initial state, um, for example, on industrial PCs, on the airport, um, yeah, public industrial PCs, where we don't know which changes have been made during one time, and we would like the system to restart every time in a fixed, frozen state of the operating system, which is then every time a reliable basis for our application. Important is that this shouldn't replace an overall security concept and also shouldn't replace like Windows security updates. So how does a write protection filter work in general? We can protect specific system partitions with this write protection filter by writing data first in an overlay, which is then deleted after restart or cleared after restart. So every change we've done during runtime is also undone by restarting the system. It's also possible to write data on a protected partition that is not deleted after restart. And this can be done by yeah, defining exclusions. And those excluded, for example, folders are no longer protected by the write protection filter then. Important is that all these features of the unified write filter can only be accessed via command line. That's the way how Microsoft implemented this feature. And therefore, we developed the unified write filter manager a graphical user interface which displays um, all the basic yeah, features of the unified write filter and also allows to configure them. You can protect or unprotect partitions, you can enable or disable the write filter, and you can also add or edit yeah, exclusions very easily. And this Backoff Unified Write Filter Manager is a standard component of every Backoff standard Windows 10 image and yeah, is free of charge and can be used without any extra installation. Also important is to configure the unified write filter yeah, appropriately for the system. So we have to analyze the system first to check, OK, how many data is written to configure the overlay, the right type, and the right size for the system. And it's also important to check on a regular base the overlay consumption during the runtime of the unified write filter, because only a system that has enough space uh, in the overlay can work as a reliable basis for your system. All in all, the back of unified write filter manager allows a yeah, user-friendly configuration and use of the unified write filter, as well as an easy first adaptation of the unified write filter for your system and for your special application. Yeah, all information are also documented in the information system and in a unified write filter manager documentation. And if you have any other questions related through the back of unified write filter manager, please feel free to ask. <laughs>